He is one of the heroes of the rally, winner on a bike in 81 and 83, and then becoming the first to also win in a car in 92, Hubert Oriol returns to the Dakar. The Dakar represented a lot for me, so to come on the bivouac in Saudi Arabia is a real pleasure, a pleasure to discover this country we didn't know. One of the moments the world remembers of Oriol is his battle with Cyril Neveu in 87 that ended dramatically. I broke both my ankles. There were many great moments, but that one was special because there was so much drama. There was the battle with Cyril Neveu between Honda and Kajiva. Everything in that story was incredible, and that outcome was terrible for me. I broke my ankles, I broke my ankles, and you recover from that. And then I won it in a car, so there was a good outcome because it wasn't an easy performance at the time. After a fantastic career on the Dakar, Hubert Oriol became its director for nine years, but a biker remains a biker forever. Bikers give a special dimension to this race because a biker is fragile and the biker has to deal with everything alone. He takes decisions alone, he navigates alone, he repairs his bike on his own. He has to be in charge. There's a heroic side to bikers. It's an exploit to finish the race on a bike. Oriol was actually the man behind the creation of the Malmoto class for riders with no assistance. My baby, the Malmoto class, still exists. We did that to help the riders and to attract more to come on the rally. Today it's a success with 40 original Bimoto riders at the start. The legend continues. For me, the most amazing thing is the competitor at the finish who has tears in his eyes and is so happy to be at the finish because he knows he's done it.